Hey, happy campers. John the Casual RVer here. Hey, uh, today we're going to uh, do a quick review. I've had uh, the RVI3 braking system now for about six months. Um, so I have the supplemental brake controller. I have the um, towed vehicle battery charger hooked up to my, uh, my Ranger. And then I also uh, uh, bought the TPMS uh, sensors for this. What I like about it, it's all linked to, to one tablet. So you have all your information and you can control everything on this one tablet. So what we're going to do is today we're going to focus on the RVI 3 supplemental braking uh, unit and the towed vehicle battery a charger then my next vehicle uh my next video will uh concentrate and do a little deeper dive into the uh tpms uh, sensors there again tpms sensors what i like about it uh you have six for the coach and they're all uh each one of them is assigned to a wheel and then here's your uh, towed for your towed vehicle uh, sensors, and there again they're assigned to the to the uh, to each wheel of the towed vehicle as well. So uh, just a disclaimer, I bought all this on my own from RVI. It's uh, not a sponsored video. There again, I purchased everything on my own. So what we'll go over, uh, do a quick video of it. There again is the braking system, the tablet, and the hub. So the hub is kind of the brains of the whole unit. What I like about this uh, system is you don't need a repeater or an amplifier for your sensors or braking system uh, for the distance to the hub. The reason why is this system works off a um, 913 megahertz frequency versus a lot of the TPMS systems work off, I believe it's a 433 megahertz uh, frequency system. Uh, so once I have everything uh, hooked up, what I do is I link the hub to the tablet and then I can set this hub anywhere. I basically like to set it in the middle of the bed and we go down the road and it communicates with the tablet uh, just fine. It also uh, will do um, your signal strength too and let you know about uh, your, your battery uh, voltage. Now the hub itself um, will last around 12 hours off its uh, battery and the tablet last about three and a half hours. So uh, you can always keep them as well plugged in to the charger. Now this has a uh, special RVI charger. It has two USB ports. It also has a 12 volt battery port. port. And then also, which is kind of unique, is a 110 plug-in for an outlet. So Without any further delay, let's uh, go ahead and hook up the RVI brake system in the towed. And then, again, we'll also go over the towed vehicle battery charger, all linked to this one tablet. So, let's uh, get started with this. I'm going to stop the video. We'll go out and hook it up and uh, get this going. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, set the RVI-3 supplemental braking system in the vehicle. Uh, it is back towards the uh, front of the seat frame. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the um, unit out of, its, uh, out of its stowed position, the air cylinder. I have the... Um, 12 volt power port. Now I have this connected on my Ranger directly to the Ranger's battery. Um, 
I do not want to plug it into a power port in the vehicle itself because with uh, with Ranger after 10 minutes the power ports go to sleep therefore I would lose power to here uh, and also I want a minimum of an 8 amp um, system 8 amp th fuse this happens to be 15 amp and I'm using a 16 gauge uh, wire going directly uh, to the battery and it's fused as well so um, the RVI3 braking system what's really really neat about it it's going to communicate to you and also what's unique you don't need the tablet for this to work you can program it and everything and it's a standalone system but I do like the tablet because it, it has a lot of nice features I can control with the tablet I can control it um, from inside the uh, the coach so let's uh, let's go ahead and hook it up There we go. One. Push auto position button again. Now that's the air compressor running. One more time. Plug in breakaway cable. Telling us to plug in our uh, breakaway plug cable. Ready. Now that's set. That's all. Uh, that's all it needs to uh, be done. Very, very simple. Now let's see if it linked up with the with the tablet. It did. Now watch this. This is uh, pretty cool. I can automatically uh, break the system right here, just like that. Now what it's doing when you do the three um, depresses pushes of the brake unit, it is depleting the vacuum brake booster uh, on the vehicle. Uh, you don't want that brake booster to have any vacuum in it when you first start off because the first brake application is going to be pretty harsh, right, because there's still vacuum in the uh, vacuum brake booster. So this deletes it and then you have a nice smooth uh, brake every time th this is applied. So, um, with that, there again, very, very simple. You don't need the tablet for this to work. It can be programmed all by the unit itself if you want to. But uh, when you do have the tablet, it is really, really nice to, uh, you can program it all from here for the vehicle weight and the sensitivity and uh, the force pressure that this applies. So kind of cool. So let me uh, stop the camera, reposition it, and show you how the vehicle towed battery charger uh, works. All right, happy camper. So um, here is the uh, towed vehicle uh, battery charger. I have it hooked, uh, or actually Velcroed onto the fuse box. It is uh, weather resistant. So one side of the uh, charger says for the battery of the toad, you hook it up. And then the other says to the RV. Now that goes down to the RV connection, goes down to my six pin. And then from my six pin, it goes to the power cord to the seven pin. Now, once I fire up the uh, engine of the coach, um, it's going to start uh, blinking uh, green and blue. Uh, once you have it initialized, there will be a blue flashing light which tells you the towed vehicle battery charger is hooked up to the towed vehicle battery is good. It's fine. Then once you start the coach up, your green on the RV side will start blinking and it's telling you, hey, it's charging. And then once everything settles down, it will go to a solid uh, green light on the uh, 
on the charger which tells you you're uh, you're in good shape now what I like about it is as you can see here it tells you your vehicle towed vehicle battery voltage on this one right now it's 13.01 volts it tells you your the what the coach is charging the uh, towed vehicle at and that's 1329 and it's uh, putting in well 3.4 to 5.4 amps why the coach is running so that's uh, that's pretty cool now if it would become disconnected or anything like that it's going to give you an auto audible and a visual warning on the tablet so uh, what I'll do is uh, get a close-up of the towed vehicle uh, battery charger and then we'll stop the vehicle go into the coach and show you where I have the tablet place and I think you got a pretty good view of uh, how that's working so there again the the blue uh, flashing light to the right that just sh tells uh, you that the system is hooked up correctly the solid green light is uh, saying that it's charging and everything is in good shape. Okay, so uh, basically I'm putting it in this uh, location so you can kind of get a get an idea wh where it's placed. Um, or how it uh, how it works when I'm normally driving I'll have my navigation up here and since the RVI 3 system the RVI 3 braking system tire pressure monitoring and towed vehicle battery charger not only does it give you a uh, visual uh, warnings but it also gives you audible warnings so what I'll do is I will put this uh, right down here and what I really like about it this has a what they call a sticky suction cup and it it will adhere to anywhere I mean as you can see this is grained and this is solid as a uh, rock here so it will go to glass any kind of grain surfaces smooth surfaces it does not matter uh, it's a phenomenal uh, mount so uh, like I say, I will normally stick it down there where I can uh, just glance at it every once in a while. And if I have to manually apply the brakes, I can do that. So as you can see right now here, I have the vehicle off. If I wanted to, look at that, I just applied the brakes now. And I can also hold it as long as I want if to... To manually check them just to make sure we have good communication with the RV i3 braking system. Now what I'm going to do is start it up. And there again, you can see that uh, right now the uh, battery voltage in on the towed vehicle is 1272. The charging voltage, what the coach is sending back to the charger, is 13.3, and the charging amperage is 5.8 amps. Uh, very, very cool. There again, you don't need that all the time. Um, you can hit that, and then it just goes to the uh, RVI 3 braking system. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I also have what they call the tire patrol. Um, I have the 10 sensor system and you can also monitor it right from here as well. You can hit the tire patrol. I'm going to do it, but it's going to say that there's nothing connected. So this is the coach side. This is the, um, the towed vehicle side. There again, I, I don't have them hooked up. I'm going to do another video on that. There, uh, with this, it gives you signal strength, tire pre, uh, PSI, and then also tire temperature. There again, all on one tablet. 
Also, which I like, it also gives you a RVI level. Now, there again, I have the hub, which is the brains of the system, on the bed, so you can see it's not very level. I will normally put it uh, right on the floor here. It's calibrated to level, and I can level out the coach or know where I'm at when I'm doing my uh, uh, auto levelers or when I manually level it. So that's uh, pretty cool. Then you can go back, go back to the RVI-3, go to the main, and there again. It uh, shows just the RVI-3 braking system. Now when you have it on tire patrol, you also know uh, you can control the braking system as well. You also can see with the RVI brake system, anytime you apply the brakes, when it applies, it lets you know the uh, intensity and the force that the RVI-3 braking system is being applied to the toad. Kind of cool. So, um, for now, that's my, uh, that's my system. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. And uh, we'll talk to you later. And then, like I say, we're going to also do a uh, little uh, deeper dive into the tire uh, patrol TPMS sensors. Kind of a cool system. I think you'll like it. So, uh, until later, happy and safe travels. Have a great day.